guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. My name is Sarah. And if you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight we are going to be making lettuce wraps and I'm going to be making them two ways. So come along with me and let's get started. So lettuce wraps are very popular, um, even for people who aren't practicing a low carb lifestyle. Um, you can put almost anything that you would like in a lettuce wrap. In fact, a lot of fast food restaurants offer lettuce as an alternative wrapping for whatever you're going to be getting. But tonight I wanted to make chicken lettuce wraps in two different styles. So I'm going to be making a traditional chicken salad for people who like things a little simpler. And then I'm also going to be making a more spicy jazzed up version and it is going to be a Thai chicken lettuce wrap, so it's going to be a little bit zingier. So that will offer a choice for both tastes, and they're super easy, and it's great for meal prep, or if you don't want to turn on your stove because it's probably hot somewhere. It's not hot here, hence the long sleeves. But if it's hot where you live, you might not want to cook, and so this is a very easy option. So let me show you what you're going to need. So obviously because we are making lettuce wraps, you are going to want lettuce to wrap it in. And of course you can use any kind of lettuce that you like um, or that you have access to. Uh, CJ and I saw these at Costco last night, so that's what I got. And these are artesian romaine and they're just little tiny heads of romaine lettuce. And when you peel them off, they look like this. So it's perfect for putting your food right down the center and then you almost have like a lettuce taco. So that's what I'm going to be using, but also butter lettuce would work, any kind of lettuce that you So you are going to need chopped cooked chicken. I am using rotisserie chicken here for this. I have about three ounces in each bowl because I am making two different kinds. You could use canned chicken here. You could use uh, leftover chicken, any kind of chicken that you would like, but it does need to be cooked and chopped up. So for the traditional chicken salad lettuce wrap, I'm going to be using some mayonnaise. I also like putting a little bit of mustard in my chicken salad. I'm going to be using dill pickle mustard. I got this at Trader Joe's, but regular mustard is totally fine. If you like Dijon or some other form, I know that CJ likes um, spicy brown. That would also be delicious here. I have some chopped up celery and also some chopped green onions. I'm going to be using the green onions in both recipes. So that is for the traditional chicken salad. Okay, now for the Thai chicken lettuce wrap, we are going to be using a few more ingredients because we are going to be making a sauce for that that is not mayonnaise and mustard. So your sauce is going to begin with peanut butter and I have a half a cup here. We are also going to be using soy sauce, some rice vinegar, two tablespoons of brown natural sweetener. I have sucre and gold here. I'm going to be using some red chili paste or sambal, which is a chili pepper paste. And I'm going to be using about two teaspoons or a bit more, depending on your level of heat that you enjoy. I have about three cloves of fresh garlic. I have one tablespoon of fresh ginger. I'm also going to be using some diced red pepper, some diced English cucumber. So you'll notice there's green in there and English cucumber is different than a traditional cucumber. It's longer and it's more firm and it's usually wrapped in plastic in the grocery store. And it is a lot milder than a traditional cucumber and you can eat the rind, but you could absolutely use a regular cucumber, but I would suggest that you peel it. And then, of course, we are going to be using some of this chopped green onion that I discussed earlier. Final ingredient for our dressing will be the juice of a lime. So I have that here and I will be juicing it. So now that you know what we will need, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first lettuce wrap that we are going to make is our traditional chicken salad. And so we are just going to go ahead and start with our already chopped up chicken in our first bowl. So I am going to add some mayonnaise, and of course the amount of mayonnaise that you use is personal taste. I like to start with a smaller amount, and then of course I can add some more if I find that it doesn't look as well coated as I would like it to be. Next I'm going to add just a couple of squeezes of mustard. I really enjoy mustard in my chicken salad, but of course you can omit that if you don't care for it. 
I'm going to put in some of the green onion that I chopped. It's probably about two tablespoons of green onion. And then I'm going to put in the celery, and this is just one stalk of celery. I'm going to use a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just going to give everything a good stir, and we'll see if the ratio of mayonnaise is what I would like it to be. So I know that there are a lot of grocery stores, in fact, Costco sells a already prepared chicken salad using their rotisserie chicken. And so it is obviously something that is very popular. I, however, do like to control what goes into mine because theirs has a lot of additives that I'm not putting into my chicken salad. But no judgment if you do use theirs instead. This is a very easy dish, and if you can make it even easier, that is what's preferable. All right, so it looks like my mixture is the consistency that I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in the lettuce wraps. So my plan is to have at least two wraps with the chicken salad, <clears throat> perhaps more depending on how large you want your wraps to be. This will probably make at least three or four wraps, but I'm just going to be putting in two because I would like to have the two flavors on my tray. All right, so there are our chicken salad wraps ready to eat, and I'm going to set those aside and start on our other flavor. Okay, so we are going to start our second flavor of lettuce wrap, and I'm going to start by making the sauce that is going to go into our chicken. So I already have the half a cup of peanut butter here, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. <clears throat> I'm going to add one tablespoon of the rice vinegar. So I have my two tablespoons of brown natural sweetener. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of the red chili paste. After I taste it later, we'll see if it's spicy enough. I do like things spicy. This is a tablespoon of fresh ginger, my three cloves of fresh garlic. I'm going to squeeze my lime and put that in. If you don't have a fresh lime, you could, of course, just use lime juice. And I'm just going to start whisking everything together slowly. Now, if you do end up needing to thin this a bit, you can absolutely do that. Um, three or four teaspoons or so of warm water can help with that step. But this is going to coat our chicken and our vegetables really nicely. Okay, so I have my little bit of warm water here and I'm going to pour some of that in. just want our sauce to have the right viscosity. Okay, just a bit more of our water. Okay, now we are coming together to form just the right texture that I'm looking for. This would also be a delicious sauce if you are into satay or um, chicken kebab skewers. This would be equally delicious on something like that. All right, so there's our sauce. 
and I'm going to set it aside while we prepare our chicken and vegetable ingredients. Okay, so once again, we have our about three ounces of the chopped cooked chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of our green onions. I'm going to use the red pepper here. I only have probably about three medium sized strips of red pepper here, so it's really not much pepper. It's just diced fairly finely. Cucumber. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of our peanut sauce in there and stir everything together. So I'm gonna start with about that much. And stir everything together and we'll see if we have enough of what we need. You can always add some more additional sauce onto your wraps after they're in your lettuce. Looks like everything is thoroughly moistened. And well combined. I'm going to give this just a touch of salt and pepper, just like I did with the traditional chicken salad. that all together and then I'm going to load it into my lettuce wraps just like before. Okay I'm going to fill my other lettuce wraps. Whoops! Dropped some. It's very excited to go into the lettuce wrap I guess. Here are our easy lettuce wraps. We have the traditional chicken salad right here. And then we also have our spicy chicken Thai wraps. So CJ's gonna taste them for us. Okay, there they are. The chicken salad lettuce wraps and the spicy Thai chicken lettuce wraps. Hi. Hi. All right, let's see how they taste. Okay. I don't know how you can make this any simpler, <laughs> especially the first one. The chicken salad one. Yes. So which one are you having first? I'm going to start with the Thai. Okay. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> it's got some sweetness. I don't taste any spiciness yet. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Peanut butter is not overpowering. But the um, Brown natural sweetener gives it a nice little sweetness, but not overpowering, so it's not like eating a dessert. Yes, that's a nice flavor sensation. Good. Especially for something so easy to make. Yes. All right, next. All right, so this is just a regular chicken salad. Yep. Hmm. That's good too. Simple, plain. I'm gonna add some more salt to mine, but I mean, that's hard to, you know, everybody's different with salt, but right. that's really good too. Good. Um, yeah, I don't really taste the mustard that you used. I didn't put a lot in. Yeah, so I don't really taste that, but that's probably optional anyway. Yes. They don't have to get the fancy dill muscle, muscle. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to get the fancy dill mustard. So, I don't taste that much of it anyway. Okay. But it's really good. Good. Thanks, baby. Bye-bye.